Well, my fellow people that are webs and stuff like that, I'm Demon, and welcome back to another episode of Sway Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we caught our second team member, which is this fly, no, fly guy right here, the Zubat. And also, we fought our rival Tim, and we made our way through this route. So, in this episode, we're going to be going into this place right here, which I believe is called Orberg Gate. Yes, so let's actually talk to this guy. Which, hopefully the screen won't be that bad. Okay, there we go. That sparkly new Poketch. Your awkwardness as a trainer. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. And he'll give us HM Og. HM Og. Well, really, it's HM06. This is Rock Smash, which, uh... Basically how HMs work... work um, you probably already know, but, uh... They're the moves that you'll learn, I mean, that you can use outside of battles after you, uh, beat the gym leader that, uh, gives you the move. So, now let's fight some trainers, which these trainers are going to be, like, mainly having rock- I don't even think these ones have rock types, but whatever. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. And the only reason I kept flying out for that was battle, because I wanted to actually get him to level 12. But really, I kind of want to, like, concentrate on, uh, Jet, just because, uh, we're going to be using him for, like, the whole next gym. So, to celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. I don't think I've ever met a Bidoof in my life that was that stubborn to knock out. Oh my god, that took forever. And we actually didn't run into any wild Pokemon in there. But anyways, now we are in our first city with a Pokemon gym, Orberg City. Kind of spoiled something there, but whatever. So let's talk to this guy. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Uh-oh. You don't have a single gym badge. You'd better do something about that. I'll take you to the gym Pokemon gym. And we get the dawn music while we follow this trainer to... A place that looks like a Pokemon Center, but it's just a little bigger. Huh? There's someone there. Uh, let's talk to this guy here. Well, no duh, he's Tim. Let's talk to him. Huh? Oh, it's you, Jordan. You you finally got here. You so yeah. You're slow like always. But anyway, the gym leader's tough. Like seriously tough. I mean, seriously serious. If the gym leader is this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you'd better go off to the mine. Yeah, he's basically- Tim's basically saying we have to actually go to the mine to actually fight him. Why am I walking? Okay. But first, I'm actually going to heal up here. Now that our Pokemans are all healed up, we have to actually- go so get out of my way, fool. Okay, now we have to actually go down here, but... There are a few items we can actually get if we actually go up here. And I think there's actually three items. Yes, there's only two here, but... There is a hidden item, which if you don't know, hidden items are just items that are hidden. That's that's basically it. So, yeah. It looks like the whole Orberg City is going to be like this weird colored thing. I don't know, I've actually found out that my previous screen is actually brighter than what the video comes out to be, so... I should probably stop arguing about this, but I don't know, it just always looks weird to me. Wait, is there anything up here or around here? I don't think there is, but, you know, there might. I'm not going to go in that house, probably nothing. Now watch it be like something very important in there, but I've never seen anyone in a walkthrough go in there, but... Let's actually go into Orberg Mines here. 
which there is a Pokeball right over here. Don't get into a wild Pokemon. There you go. There's a Pokeball. I was actually right about that. Damn. I didn't think it'd actually be a Pokeball in there, but okay. And why am I so lucky? You know, I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? Didn't I? Whatever, I'm really not that mad about it, but... Yay, it says Orbring Mine again, even though we already know where we are, but whatever, so... I'm pretty sure down here there's actually a trainer battle. No, I met this much up on Route 207. Okay, that's not the trainer battle. Down right here is the trainer battle. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. That battle really didn't even need to be sped up, that was fast. Dang. What are you? You are a potion, okay, I'll take you because potions are somewhat good. Now let's go down here and- whoa! That's not a Pokemon, but let's actually talk to Ro- no. Okay, stand by and watch this. Using this hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way, will smolder into bits and pieces. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get, yeah, be right back. Sorry about that, I just had to get a quick drink. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first, that'd be me. And I have a feeling there's something of a p importance over here, is there? Yes, there is, what are you? You are an escape rope, that's what I thought. Because now, we, um, I know I'm kind of wasting this, but an escape rope can actually get you out of any dungeon you want, so... No, it's not in there, it's an item. So let's actually use the escape rope right now. Because I really don't feel like walking back out of here, so... Luckily, we can use the escape rope to... Pop out right here. And not have to worry about any wild Pokemon coming on after us, yay. So now, we've basically done everything we have to do in Orbrick City. Wait, well, except I need to heal again. And I'm also going to get some items from the shop, just because even... I mean, even though I are... No, not up there. Even though I already have three potions, I kind of want to uh, get, like, more just in case, so I'll be right back again. Okay, now that we're all done, let's go into the gym. Yay, our first gym. And before anything, let's actually just talk to this guy right here. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, alright? That's why we have a Piplup, they're also weak to Grass-type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to, to be a gym leader without... whatever. Yeah. Basically saying it's covering, and also it's saying that if you have, like, pick up the Chimchar, it's not gonna be easy, but... You could actually skip the, No, get around here. You could skip the whole gym just by going up here. But I'm gonna fight all the trainers in here just to be... Just because I want to, and this three-dimensional crap is messing up with me, which having to look at my, like, previous screen. You avoided the long way around. Let's see why you do that. Now, I would talk about something we're already going to be to another trainer battle right up here, okay. Only two trainer battles in this gym. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. Now that we fought all the trainers and I have no idea what time it is in the video, we're actually going to fight the gym leader right now, after I heal up my Piplup, so let me just quickly heal him up right here. There we go. So now, this gym I'm kind of nervous about, even though you might be asking, oh, it's only the first gym, but I've come down to having to be, like, super lucky with this guy, and I know I'm saving on screen, but you want to make sure to save before you battle, so yeah, let's just save there, so let's fight this guy. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. 
I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokémon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And, I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokémon that you battle with. Battle with you, so... Versus Rourke. Yeah... I'm basically dead here. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not gonna win on this take, but... If I did win on this take, then... You... I'm uh, gonna take back my words, but... If he uses headbutt, yep, he does, uh, okay, Jet's dead, definitely. <clears throat> there goes Jet, and I'm probably screwed now. Let's, uh, shift out to Fly Guy. Okay, Fly Guy, you're probably not gonna win this, but whatever. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's try Return. See how you do. I'm pro am I gonna get killed by headbutt? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, that's a bad attempt. Uh. I don't die. Crap. Oh, crap. I might be able to make a comeback, but Fly Guy's probably gonna die again. Yes, again. Headbutt, headbutt's gonna kill it. Oh, oh, he didn't, okay. What? Well, what, what? Wait, what? What? Fly Guy's ability is not to flinch! Why did it flinch? Question, does Mold Breaker make it so your abilities don't work? Because on the second attempt of fighting him, uh, I used Zubat and his last Pokemon, and he his last Pokemon has the ability Mold Breaker, and it killed me. No, it didn't kill me. Like, it says Zubat's protected from flinching, but he, it doesn't, he flinched. So, I don't know if Mold Breaker is supposed to protect you from doing that, but, oh. Okay. Okay, anyways, this is take number three, if you want to know. Yeah, three takes for this. Three takes. Three takes. 24 minutes on the recording. I'm gonna have to actually stop and probably delete some recordings after this, because I'm running out of time. Okay, now here we go to Onyx. Sorry I didn't say anything about Geodude, but he's pretty easy if you have a Jet. No, if you have a Piplup, yeah, so. Okay, just bubble him. He is, okay, oh, I see now the last time. Because, uh, he also, Onyx actually has the move Stealth Rock, which, uh, I see he didn't actually put it out that time, and if I expect anything, he's gonna heal right now. Yep, I knew it. I've done this fight way too many times to know. Then I'm gonna kill him with the bubble, and then he's gonna die. This is how it's been going out for the last, like, two tries. It's going out the same exact way. Now, Cranidos. Okay, let's keep battling Cranidos, okay. This guy is a pain. He is a pain. Yes, Mold Breaker. I don't know. That probably does something with that. But yeah, Headbutt's a devastating move. As Holy God. Headbutt did a lot. And Oh. Oh my God. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jet. Thank you. Only three takes. Thank you for critting him right there. Oh my, we beat Rourke. Thank you, I told you, it comes down to luck to beating this guy for me. What? Jet is evolving, yes, because he's level 16, he's finally evolving! Yes! 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 Take three. I beat him. I wasn't nervous, and I beat Rourke. Yes. I'm happy. 26 minutes on recording this, but yes, we got a Prinplup, okay. Yes, I need to train off, my, train up my, yes, I want to teach him Metal Claw, okay. Yes, 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 so we want to forget a move. What move should I forget? Uh, uh I'll forget Pound, because I just taught him Peck in the actual battle, but, okay. We beat Rourke, thank you. I'm happy for that crit right there, thank you. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge, even though you are the first gym leader, so I really don't know why you're embarrassed. But that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your badge. I mean, our badge, since you've beaten me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League coal badge. Yes, we have received our first Pokemon gym badge. Finally, after that, coming down to luck battle, we received it. And we obtained obtained the TM76. Okay. So, yeah, which is Stealth Rock, which you're probably not going to be teaching to anybody, but yeah. I'm still happy that I crit Rourke. 
I critical hit him, and that was lucky, and I'm happy. So, that's about it for this episode. Let's play Pokemon Platinum. I have no idea how long this episode is, because I've been recording for 27 minutes now. Yay! So, in the next episode, we are going to... Excuse me? Make our way back to Jubilife City, because, in fact, we have to actually go back there to get to closer to the town with the next gym leader. So, this has been Demon, Demon Razorblade, saying see you later, and goodbye.